If you could be immortal, would you? Elon Musk's long-awaited Neuralink could provide life after death, along with a myriad of other groundbreaking innovations. However, the technology is raising global concern over how it will forever change life as we know it. So what is Neuralink and how will it change your life? Neuralink is an implantable brain chip that connects humans with computers. According to Musk, it's being developed for a few important reasons. One reason is to find a cure for disability. Imagine a world where paraplegics can walk, where the blind can see. Another reason it's being developed is to attain symbiosis between humans and artificial intelligence. Ever heard the expression, if you can't beat them, join them? Elon worries that AI will advance so much it will overtake our society, so in order to keep up with its growth, he says humanity needs to fuse together with AI. This will feel a little weird. So is this cool or creepy? Connecting your brain to a computer means you have immediate access to all the data in the world. Imagine downloading an entire book or learning a whole new language in a second. Neuralink will also allow you to upload your thoughts to its database. I hope he likes me. And those thoughts will exist beyond your life, meaning immortality is attainable, if only digitally. These are just a few of the shocking ways Neuralink can be used. Neuralink is also revolutionizing the way people interact with computers. In what is sure to be the first of its kind, the Neuralink surgery will be be fully automated, meaning the brain chip will be implanted by a robot. Earlier this month, a live stream showed a surgical robot performing a mock surgery. In the video, the bot quickly and successfully inserts electrodes into a dummy brain. According to scientists, this surgery requires such precision that it would be almost impossible for humans to perform it. As Neuralink's head of hardware, Christine Odebashian says, quote, imagine taking a hair from your head and trying to stick it into jello covered by saran wrap and doing this at a precise depth and position, and doing this 64 times within a reasonable amount of time. As if all this wasn't mind-boggling enough, Neuralink has released footage of a monkey operating a computer using only its mind. In the video, the monkey, named Saki, uses a virtual keyboard to move a cursor around. The keyboard is wirelessly connected to a Neuralink chip in Saki's brain, allowing him to type telepathically. Last year, Neuralink blew everyone away with footage of a monkey playing the video game Pong telepathically. Initially, the monkey was given a joystick to play with, but then the joystick was disconnected and the monkey started playing using only his thoughts. While some are excited by these developments, others are concerned over how this will fundamentally change the world as we know it. As revolutionary as this technology is, it presents a multitude of problems. First off, we don't know what the long-term effects of this technology will be on the human body and mind. Typically, the human body rejects foreign objects. One example of this is breast implantation, which is known to cause breast implant illness. With this in mind, how do we know the body won't reject the Neuralink chip over time? One major problem that needs addressing is hacking. By merging our minds with computers, our minds will become a target for hackers. This should scare everyone. Our brains contain our most private information about ourselves and our identity. If a hacker can access your brain, he can expose your innermost thoughts. Suddenly, privacy of your mind will become a thing of the past. If we can't keep our laptops safe from a hacker, how can we guarantee the safety of our own body? One concern is being voiced by Joe Rogan. Rogan, who's had Musk on his podcast before, worries this technology will give its creator too much power. In a recent podcast, Rogan said of Musk, quote, he's going to turn into a god. That's gonna be a problem. Unfortunately, he's not wrong. Which begs the question, should we trust anyone with that much power? Even if Musk's intentions are good, Neuralink can also be used maliciously. Not only that, but connecting yourself to a computer will inevitably create a hive mind. What does that mean? If you've seen Star Trek, you'll remember the nefarious cyborgs called the Borg. The Borg were all linked together by a hive mind called the Collective. This allowed them to act in total uniformity as a species. However, it also meant that no one had any individuality at all. While this seems far-fetched now, it could become a reality in the near future. As revolution as Neuralink appears to be, we should view it with skepticism. We have no idea what problems this technology could create for us and for future generations. Curing diseases and increasing brain capacity are worthy goals, but at what cost? Will Neuralink bring an end to the struggles of many? Or will it create much bigger problems than it solves?